Welcome to 3D CAD Click. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw shaft bracket using AutoCAD isometric interface. This is the isometric view of shaft bracket. Let's get inside the interface of AutoCAD. There we are going to draw shaft bracket. This is the interface of AutoCAD. Once I click on the ISO circle asking to specify the center point of ISO circle, this is the center point. Now asking for the radius, 40 millimeter is the radius for this one. 40 enter for this. F5 is a shortcut to change the isoplane. The line is 58 millimeter. Enter for this one. Go to the option here, fillet option. Go to the option radius. 4 mm is a radius for this. Select the first line and second line. We are going to get the fillet. Again, go to the option fillet. Select the first line and second line. We are going to get the fillet like this. If you don't want the grid here, we can hide the grid. We can see that here how we are going to get the final output. This is how we are going to draw the shaft bracket using AutoCAD isometric interface. This is the example I wanted to explain in this video. In the next video, we are going to continue from next set of options. Thank you. Welcome to 3D CAD Click. In this video, I am going to explain how to design gear shaft using CATIA part design interface. This is the isometric view of the gear shaft. This is the top view and the front view of the gear shaft. Here we are going to get some of the section views and the detail views. Let's get inside the interface of CATIA. There we are going to design gate shaft. This is the interface of CATIA. Go to circle. I am going to start from the center point here. Now this is the circle I wanted. I want to add the dimension for this. Double click on this one. It is showing here radius. I don't want radius. I want diameter. The diameter of the circle is 60 millimeter. Okay for this one. Click on the exit workbench. Once I click on this, click on the pad here. Once I click on this one, asking for the dimension. The dimension I want is 55 divided by 2. Click on the mirror extend. Once I click on this, the total dimension is 55. Click OK for this one. This is what we are going to get. Similarly, again go to the option chamfer. I am going to select this particular edge. The length is 0.5 mm, angle is 45 degree. Click OK for this one. Here 
here we're going to get the option sharing with material once i click on the sharing with material now we can see that here how we are going to get the final component this is how we are going to design gearshaft using catia part design interface this is the example i wanted to explain in this video in the next videos we are going to continue from next set of options and examples thank you welcome to 3d CAD click in this video i am going to explain how to design bevel gear support using creo parametric part design interface this is the isometric view of bevel gear support bevel gear support is one of a power transmission component let's get inside the interface of creo parametric there we are going to design bevel gear support this is the interface of creo parametric go to the option line i'll start from here first point and second point i'm going to add the dimension this dimension is 150 millimeter enter this is 75 millimeter double click on this 75 enter for this Click OK for this one. Now I have to add the thickness here. The thickness would be 10 millimeter. Enter for this. Click OK. Now we can see that here how we are going to get the output. Hold control to select the multiple features. Now go to the option here, mirror option. I want to do the mirror with the reference here. Click on this, click OK for this one, control D, that's a standard orientation. Now we can see that here, this is our final component. This is how we are going to design bevel gear support using Creo parametric part design interface. This is the example I wanted to explain in this video. In the next video, we are going to continue from next set of examples. Thank you. Welcome to 3D CAD Click. In this video, I am going to explain how to design roller stud using SOLIDWORKS. This is the isometric view of roller stud. Let's get inside the interface of SOLIDWORKS. There we are going to design roller stud. This is the interface of SOLIDWORKS. Go to the option circle. I am going to start from this point. I am going to draw a circle here. I want to add the dimension for this. Go to the option smart dimension. Select this circle. Now the diameter of the particular circle is 57.15. 57.15. Enter for this. I want to add one more dimension. This dimension is 32 millimeter. Enter for this. Now I want it in the center from this edge to this reference. The dimension should be 16 millimeter. 16. Enter for this. Now click OK. This is how we are going to design roller stud using SOLIDWORKS and this is how we are going to apply the appearance for 3D component in SOLIDWORKS. 
This is the example I wanted to explain in this video. In the next video, we are going to continue from next examples and the options. Thank you. Welcome to 3D CAD Click. In this video, I am going to explain how to perform structural analysis of bolt connection in steel structure. This is the setup what we have. Here we are going to get the column. This is the beam. At this particular end, we are going to apply the boundary condition that is a fixed support. Here we are going to get the bolt connection. Total number of bolts are 4. The size of the bolt what we are using for the analysis that is M16. At this particular end, we are going to apply the force of 1500 Newton. The material using to perform the analysis is structural steel. Let's get inside the interface of ANSYS. There we are going to perform structural analysis of bolt connection in steel structure. This is the interface of ANSYS. Here we are going to get the analysis system. The next we required is geometry. Click on this, right click, go to the option here import, click on the browse, once I click on this, here we are going to get the step file format of bolted connection. I am going to select this particular file, click open for this one. minus because it's downward minus 1500 newtons enter for this one now i want to perform the analysis here right click on the solution here we're going to get the option solve How much stress is on this particular body? 195.84 Newton per millimeter square, that is megapascals. If you want to check at what location is the maximum stress, here in the result, we can see that we are going to get the maximum and minimum. For example, if I want to generate an analysis report, go to home, here we are going to get the option report preview. Once I click on the report preview, this is the process of generating the report. This is how we are going to perform the analysis of bolt connection in steel structure and this is how we are going to generate the report using ANSYS workbench. This is the example I wanted to explain in this video. In the next video, we are going to continue from next set of options. Thank you.